Hey guys, hope you guys are well and happy. Today I'm going to be showing you something different. I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram lately and people saying, Hey, Damon, I'm having a bit lower back and knee pain. Can you please help me? Okay, so for those people that have knee pain, lower back pain, today I'm going to be showing you some awesome mobility work, stretching work, and also as I have here, a foam roller, how to use this one and how to really dig into those muscles that's going to help release the knee as well as the lower back. Okay, the muscles that we're going to be foam rolling out today is the quadriceps, hamstrings, as well as ITB. Those muscles that I just said connect into the knee. If those muscles are tight, it usually pulls on the knee, which is going to give you knee pain as well. Another muscle I like to roll out before my like, squat sessions, which I get all my clients to roll out, is the glutes. Glutes is a very important muscle for explosiveness, posture, and obviously mobility and stability. Okay, so if you've got really tight glutes, Think of it, if something's really, really tight, it's really hard to be mobile and move around. Especially going if you've got tight glutes that come to a squat, you really don't think it's deep in that range of motion that you have. So, especially um, if you guys got lower back pain, if you have tight glutes, it's really gonna pull on that lower back, okay? And that's why when you, when you train your glutes, make sure you train your core as well, and that's gonna help your lower back as well. So I'm gonna be showing you some foam rolling techniques you should be doing before your session, after session, or any time through the day when you get a bit of knee and back pain, okay? So, one of my favorite ones to, because um, sometimes I get a bit of knee pain myself as well, we're all human. So, the problem is sometimes your ITB type. This muscle that connects through here runs into my knee. If this muscle is jacked up, it's tight, it's me pulling my knee, um, and it's, it's an uncomfortable feeling if you guys know what I mean. So what I like to do, it's a pain, yes it kills if you guys have done this. What I'm gonna be doing here is rolling in three sections, 15 times, okay? So, I'm gonna be coming up into the lateral border, okay? I'm gonna be finding that trigger point spot. I'm gonna be sitting on that trigger point spot, and I'm just gonna roll nice and slow, 50 reps. Ah, it's killing. Just get a nice slow 15 reps, just get into the groove and just really, really feel that one just start loosening up. Once you're on 15, you're gonna go a bit lower into the medial section, also 15. Then you're gonna go all the way down to the lower bottom, okay, where the knee is. 15 there. Once you have done three sets of 15 in each border, okay, three borders, one, two, three, then you're gonna roll out the whole ITP for 15 times, okay? It's just like a workout, right, guys? And what that's gonna do, once I roll that out on both sides, are really going to free up the knee as well as come down to the ankle as well. Okay, so even people with ankle pain, uh, mobility when they're doing the squat, their knee drives over, you usually just tend to have tight ITB. Because when this is tight on the knee, when the knee's out of place and that's not working well, the top is going to connect to your, um, to your foot as well. Remember, everything's connected, right? So guys, just try that as well. Okay, some other things I like to do with the glutes as I'm seated now, is just turn slightly and then just get into the glute. Put the front roll or a glute. Yes, you can use the front roll or a ball. I probably like prefer to have a ball. I don't have it with me at the moment, which is a bit more direct um, to get into the glute because the glute's not as big as the muscle as um, my ITB. I just like to do like a few rolls there and swap sides as well. Okay, so guys, if you've got a bit of lower back pain, make sure you guys try those two exercises, especially the ITB, which I find with myself, a lot of clients. Uh, when they throw out of that, they feel a lot looser to the hips, they have more mobility and more range of motion through their movements in the gym. So make sure you guys try that one.